Today we're gonna do the exact same thing. It's episode 17. Wow, we've done a lot of talking nonsense. Um, how would you like to take it to a, uh, a throwback? Would you rather? Oh, sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. Would you rather watch an uninterrupted WNBA doubleheader or listen to an entire Nickelback CD in one sitting? Nickelback CD in one sitting, but the one that does have a stipulation. It's the album that has all the stripper songs. That's okay. my stipulation. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm going to go with that one as well. And that one was the preferred choice from the audience. Yes, yes. Ah, good old throwbacks. <laughs> I guess nobody asked the 20 people that attend WNBA games. Mm -hmm. Hey, they paid They paid a solid $11 for those seats. They deserve that. Uh, w, why does the WNBA get such a bad rap? Besides the fact that, you know, <laughs> it's the WNBA. Uh, it's just boring basketball. I mean, they're, they're a hell of a lot better than I am, but it's just not entertaining. Yeah, I get that. It's not necessarily a spectator. It's kind of like the CBA, that kind of NBA knockoff that we have here in Canada. Yeah, yeah, it's the CBA. And Canada that's got has dudes, and that's just as, just as boring. I bet you WNBA players would probably kick the shit out of most of those dudes. Mm -hmm. Not <laughs> in a fight, but in a basketball game. Yeah, uh, I bet you you're right. Maybe a uh, fight as well. Who knows? Canada's got lots of uh, pretend leagues. <laughs> <laughs> yep, got the CFL, the CBA. I think that's called what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's the CBA. CBA, yeah. I could be wrong, but I believe you're right. Um, yeah, we got just all kinds of uh, all kinds of bunk shit going on. <laughs> um, yeah, would you like to do another? Yeah, why not? All right. Why not? I say. I figured we'd go back to this site since we did them all before. There's got to be a bunch of new ones, right? You would, you would, one would think that that would be a possibility. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, these are all fun ones. I don't want fun ones. I want some crazy shit. Everybody likes crazy shit. <laughs> like, it's, like, it's like it was too dark. Then it's, it's like once you tiptoe the line, it's okay. But as soon as you cross it. Mm -hmm. Then you know you're well, in. Well, some of them are just like, would you rather fly or no? I want. <laughs> would you rather fly or get fucked in the ass by Hitler? Like, yeah. It's like, well, that's cl clearly you'd rather fly. Yeah, well. And then it's got a tomato, tomato, tomato right? Uh, would you rather be stuck in the Left 4 Dead universe or the Walking Dead universe? Easy, mm -hmm. Walking Dead. They're all slow. <laughs> I understand you're thinking, but at the same time. In the left, oh, dead Left 4 Dead universe has unlimited <clears throat> ammo. That's what I was just about to say. And there's all sorts of shit everywhere. So unlimited. I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Left 4 Dead. Kill myself a couple of them bloater guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. If factoring in the universes, Left 4 Dead would have to have unlimited ammo. Because and we don't gotta deal with no whiny kids. So it's true. That the works zombies too. are hella fast, and there's way more of them. And there's spitters yep. and ones that grab you and ones that like fucking. Bloat. I'm pretty sure those guys are called bloaters or boomers. I don't know. Boomers, I believe. Yes. I wish. I wish there would be another Left 4 Dead game. I enjoy. I'm surprised they haven't done that thoroughly. Yeah, it's because Valve owns Steam, and there's just they make so much money. There's no reason, <laughs> no reason not to. All right. Would you rather? <laughs> Here's a topical one. Would you rather support Captain America or Iron Man in the upcoming Civil War? Captain America. Yeah? Yep, Captain America, 100%. Uh, if it wasn't for Winter Soldier, I'd, I would say Iron Man, but I'm going to have to go Cap I'm gonna have to go Captain America as well. I'm looking at it from an actual strong uh, uh, moral opinion standpoint. I don't think that... Not from a movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because I feel like it's going to be similar to the Superhero Registration Act, so mm. I don't really know what the... When it comes down to are. it, you're right. And I don't think that... Superhero should have to reveal the true identities. Mm -hmm. Well, I agree. They've never done the identity thing in the movies, so because in my opinion, it's always been like people are like, "Oh, we should be able to regulate them." Well, no, you should just say thank you and just be thankful for the fact that they are not fucking you up. <laughs> they could take over if they wanted to. <laughs> so just leave it alone. Back off. Let them fucking save you when you'd like them to, mm -hmm. and everything will be copacetic. Yeah, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. <laughs> oh dear. Or copacetic, yeah. whatever it is. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's that's my opinion on on the matter. I I would have to agree. Um, 
Would you rather be forced to always wear a top hat or a giant Flava Flav clock necklace? Well, oh, geez. A, fr a friend of mine used to wear a top hat quite often, so I think I'm going to have to go with the necklace just so that we don't, you know, see each other. And it's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, you're wearing a top hat, I'm wearing a top hat. Mm -hmm. it, then it becomes an awkward situation, and I'm just not okay with that. So I'm going to have to go with a Flava Flav clock. Plus, then you never know, you, you're never going to be late. You always know what time it is. That's true, yeah. Um, hmm. I wish there was a way to just filter these to, like, the fucked up questions. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Um, well, we could talk about some news and whatnot if you want. Shoot the shit. What do you think of the new Doom game coming out? That new trailer looked pretty nifty. I did not see the trailer for the new Doom game, but I'm... Is it similar to the old games, or is it just, like, uh, it 3D? Like a way better version of the very first Doom game is what it looks okay. like to me. That could be pretty cool. With a lot of like run up and break people's neck moves, if you know. What almost I'm like about. the almost like the last Alien game. Yeah, kind of. Was it called Isolation? Yeah, but yeah. much more about uh, being on the aggressor. Oh well, yeah, because that game was just pretty much hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's what I didn't like about Doom Three, because you always had to like weave and duck, and things are scary. It's supposed to be scary, yes, but Doom is about blowing the fuck out of everything, like you know. Remember the movie, the Doom movie? Yeah. It's about that last ten minute scene right there where it goes into first person all of a sudden. That's what it's all about. Uh, that's pretty funny. They're like, yeah, no, we know this movie sucks, so here you go. We'll, we'll just do this. Hopefully it makes up for it. It did not. <laughs> it did not. But in any way. <laughs> it was a gracious attempt. To... It was a gracious attempt. Uh, and I'm glad they at least incorporated that. What do you think the best... There's a random question. What do you think the best video game movie is? And the best video all, game movie? And they're all is there one? <laughs> I was just going to say, is there one, really? The best of the poop. Super Mario Brothers. Boom. <laughs> I've heard that. That's a, uh, that's a good... That's a lot of people's choice just because it's so fucking weird, right? <laughs> it's like a fever dream. It's basically like the game was basically just what Mario was telling people. Yeah, so exactly. it, was, it was almost just painted in uh, a very good light and it was probably more fucked yeah. up in a weird dystopian future someone's hippie dad did a bunch of acid and played Super Mario Bros and then wrote the script for this something along those lines because it is a weird fever dream but you're, you're right neo-punk Super Mario Brothers yeah. but uh, I, in all honesty I'd say probably the best uh, video game movie I don't know it, it's sad but I, don't, I really don't think there is one. Oh, Double Dragon yeah. Double Dragon. Uh, I was yeah. gonna say. Melissa Milano, bud. Okay. I was gonna say the first Mortal Kombat, but uh, Double, that, Double Dragon might be, might be better. Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'll give you that. The first Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I personally liked. Uh, it's <laughs> it's weird, I guess, but it's not bad for what it is. The Tekken movie. I don't think I've ever seen the Tekken movie. I have seen yeah. the Dead or Alive movie, which is shit. <laughs> I don't uh, know if I've seen that one. And I've seen almost every almost every video game movie that's come out, but here's the thing. You're kind of right. They're all absolute garbage. They... I can't believe... Blood it. Rain. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> blood, ooh. That was, that was a joke. That was a I joke. I know. I'm bringing up a... Uh, I got a little list of video game movies <laughs> here. Blood Rain, where is it? No one likes Jimmy Bowl movies. 4% is what... Is what, Blood Rain? Yeah, Rotten nice. Tomatoes. In there. Yeah, Yui Bull is a, is a disgusting filmmaker. He, <laughs> he circumvents a system that is designed to hate things he, he produces. But he still I, make no money. I make no money and I still get work. Yep. Um, yeah, the talking best, I don't know. Maybe, how about just that scene from Doom? Just the one I just mentioned. Only that ten minutes. Never mind the rest of it. <laughs> no, because I would say... The very first Resident Evil, the first mm. ten minutes of the of the film when she's waking up. Yeah. Okay. I'll if that was that. the case, because yeah. I thought it was going to take place in the mansion when I first when it first started. And it's like, oh, and then well, that's disappointing. Then it promptly goes to shit. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's go down. Let's go down memory lane, shall we? Not to mention, then it just descended into madness with whatever the fuck they're calling Resident Evil now that they put out and. Oh, Resident Evil. Somehow Evil. make money off of. Off the deep end. The next one, titled The Final Chapter, My Ass, LOL, <laughs> uh, is coming out in, you know, January 2017. So, <laughs> when was the last one? Retribution in 2012? 
I don't know. Yeah, they really need to stop with the Resident Evil movies. I think I hate them maybe the most. I don't know. If you want to go worst movie. <laughs> worst you know, video game. Uh, right? House of the Dead. Oh, you're right. House of the Dead was so bad. Yeah. Oh, it was made by, like, teenagers and shit. Oh. <laughs> right. just, that was It was really bad. It was really bad. Double Dragon was awesome. And that it's came not out in 2003. Awesome, that's it's, it's not but. actually awesome, but it's a side-scrolling fucking beat 'em up game. Like, what the, what the hell do you expect? Exactly, exactly. The Double Dragon is good. I honestly think Street Fighter is underrated. <laughs> I think it's terrible, but if there were in certain circumstances, like mm. you know, uh, what's, I, I don't, no, not John Claude Van Damme. Well, if it had better actors, it'd be good. If they did a remake, but the guy that played uh, the hell's his name, Baron, whatever. Oh. um... That's his name. I don't remember Bison? Street Fighter now. Bison, Bison. that's his name. Yeah. yeah, the guy that played Bison, that was <laughs> Raul, uh, Raul. buddy, buddy from the Adams family. Yeah, yeah. If he fuck. wasn't, you know, getting sick with cancer before he died, and yep. other situations that happened, like John Claude Van Damme being fucking coked out of his goddamn mind the entire time, and playing an American, <laughs> and yeah, that as well. Then it could have been decent. Street Fighter, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I feel like that's. I feel the like there's ones that are that made now that are worse than that. I feel like that has to be the grade because I'm looking at the overall Rotten Tomatoes here. There's nothing above fifty percent here. <laughs> like nothing, and that's not a, even not even Tekken. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's unheard of. It's because I want to like them so much. It's just I like, want uh, I want to like them too. No, not not even Tekken. Um, the what do we got? The closest is. I know, I know what's going to be. I know the best uh, video game movie, Warcraft. How does, I does, God, does I hope so. Have come out? It doesn't even need to come out. The trailer already makes it the best video game movie. I agree with that. Here's hoping, man. It really looks like it could be the redeemer of video game movies, and not like shrugging it off the fact that it's a video game movie. It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna tell a story about fucking orcs, <laughs> like giant <laughs> big ass orcs, and they're gonna be the main characters. So <laughs> deal with it. Okay. Or if they did uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Yeah, I'd be down with that. The highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes, anyways. Final Fantasy of Spirits Within, 44%. That's terrible. Had and absolutely nothing to do. That had about as much to do with fucking Final Fantasy as Super Mario Brothers did with Super Mario Brothers. You're right. That... People want to talk about Super Mario Brothers having nothing to do with the goddamn video game. What about that one? Oh, I know, man. Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Oh, I remember this. Or Hitman. Hitman, let's talk about that. What's the ones that are the most completely insane compared to what the game is actually about? Hitman. <laughs> Hitman, yep. And uh, the Hitman, they just recently fucked, like, fucked it up again, so they've done it, they've done it bad twice now. So. It makes no sense. Yeah, that's kind of curious, eh? Because it seems like it's really just a cut and paste formula. Like, it's hard to get wrong. He's a guy that kills guys in really cool ways. How can you not make a movie out of that? <laughs> yeah, you, it's, they like, need to force feed him dialogue, which is completely unnecessary. He doesn't need to say anything. It, Barely <sighs> talks as it is. It's better, and the, the cinematics in the goddamn games are better than watching the Hitman movies. I'll agree with that. And, and the yeah, first one have... disappointed me because I remember I was excited. I thought I had high hopes for Timothy Oliphant. As did I. I don't, I don't know, know who the, who the hell this guy is in the new one, but he had no business doing this. Nope. I don't know why they made that, and I don't know why they f chose to fuck it up again. Bastards. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there's a slew of supposed video game movies in development. God, I hope Warcraft is the one to <laughs> to break the curse. I think it will. Yeah, because there's also Assassin's Creed slated for December. Oh, yeah, that's Fastbender, year, right? With Fastbender starring, so who knows? Maybe. What about Prince of Persia? Oh, Prince of Persia, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't think it was very good. No, it was. Uh, it was another one where it's like it's better than a lot of them. Mm. Eh? I think the that's... Silent Hill movie was better than I expected it to be. Oh, oh fuck you. It wasn't great, but... <laughs> oh, fuck you. Which one? The first, isn't there the two first of them? one? The first one. I don't, isn't there a I, second one that nobody noticed? Yes, it's called Revelation 3D. Of course. Yeah, that's what I thought. It has uh -huh. a 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, so somebody noticed. Somebody noticed. A couple, five people out of 100. 
Okay. I didn't mind just like the way, I don't know, the way things looked in the first Silent Hill. I don't know. It wasn't perfect, but. Alone in the Dark. There's a shitty movie. Wow. When you say wasn't perfect, are you saying it was closer to perfect than closer to like just utterly terrible? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it's pretty bad as we. This can, is a wide range. As we can all agree, all of these are, you know, turds. It's just which turd uh, smells the nicest? <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's There's also the uh, Postal we can talk about. Max Payne film. That was a disaster. Right with Mark Wahlberg. I yeah. forgot all about that. I forgot that was a thing. They put demons in it. Why'd they do that? Why was there demons in the Max Payne movie? Have you not yeah. played the Max Payne game? It's not about that. make a Devil May Cry movie. Fuck yeah. Resident Evil. Because Devil May Cry would make a lot more sense. It'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, and get like the director of like Hero or... Crouching Tiger and Dragon or something crazy. That'd be sick. I'd watch that for sure. Hell yeah. There, that's a damn fine idea, actually. I was going to say, who could pot, like, how could you do a Devil May Cry movie? It was like, yeah, do it like a Kung Fu movie almost. With like more more style. Yeah, that'd be dope. I'd watch that for sure. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the, for sure. the uh, director of Hero and Crouching Tiger. I don't actually think they're the same guy, but like that kind of style would be wicked. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with that. Yeah. Um. Well, there's also a Ratchet and Clank movie slated to come out, an Angry That's Birds movie. Oh yeah, I saw that the Angry Birds movie has got a bunch of funny people as the voices. I guess it does. Yes, in classic make a movie about it fashion. <laughs> I've never even played the like app or whatever. I don't. Nope. I don't know what it is. Um, don't you what? just shoot them at things? Yeah, it's a game where you shoot birds at pigs. So in the movie, are they just going to shoot things? Shoot, just walking around shooting pigs? Because I don't, well, know, I don't know. It's, it's, like it's a dark subject matter. <laughs> it can. It could be interpreted as a dark subject matter, considering you use a sling, it's like slaughtering them. You use a slingshot to like knock over these pigs' houses, and uh, with you know with these birds, and I'm assuming they die upon impact. So I'm curious <laughs> how the narrative is going to go. Um, but you know. I've been surprised by less, I guess. It, oh, yes, we forgot to say Pixels for the worst ones before. Oh, yeah. I guess Pixels is based on a couple of them. It's not directly one, but yeah. Fuck that movie. Featuring them. Featuring video games. Fuck Pixels. Fuck oh, that fucking movie. And Wreck-It Ralph. That's a great video game movie. Mm. Not a real video game, but... If that yeah. counts, then yeah, absolutely. Um, maybe the first Tron? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that... Uh, I'd say I actually like Tron Legacy better than Tron. I don't understand what everybody's problem is. If you watch the first Tron, it doesn't hold up fucking whatsoever. No, it looks bad. It looks really it's bad. T- it's terrible. 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 Also, it's like when you watch the original Batman. I want to make a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Why? That's too bad. Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope it's live action because that would be fucking creepy and disturbing. <laughs> Bring it back to like the eighties, where it's like just do it live action because there's no knuckles other way. is just some weird mutant with two tails like kill me. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Well, goddamn. Yeah, a bunch of turds, man. A bunch of just. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to understand sometimes because video game plot lines are usually fairly simple, <laughs> and they could. You know, some of them you can see how they can Tails, translate. Tails, not Knuckles. That's the fucker I was talking about. That weird fox that's all deformed. Tails. Oh, yeah, yeah. He has, He's got yeah. multiple tails. Mm-hmm. He's a mutant. I love how Knuckles just breaks the game when you get him. Just climb over everything. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't think of that when they first put him in there. <laughs> just like, yeah, you can climb over everything now. Ah, oh, there was a Dungeon Siege movie. I forgot about that, too. Oh, Lord. Didn't it have... There's a Call of Duty movie. It's called Thirteen Hours. <laughs> Have you seen that? You, I hope it's. I hope it's the. Call oh, but of I Duty hear it's movie. really good. I hope it's the Call of Duty movie we've all been waiting for. I want to see it because John Krasinski and it intrigues me. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to see him as a badass. And plus, <laughs> who's who blows up shit better than Michael Bay? No one. No one does. I thought you were gonna say who blows up shit better than Tuna. <laughs> Tuna. Yeah, and it's funny that the guy who plays Roy is in there, too. Oh, man. And they used to be fucking rivals back in the office days, and now they're fucking commandos fucking shit up. I really wish that Michael Bay would have cast Pam as fucking somebody. In the yeah, it, like gets kidnapped or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jim shows up at Roy's door. It's been so long, man. What do you want? <laughs> they got Pam. <laughs> Just, like, lock and load. Next scene, they're in a helicopter. 
I would love to see an office crossover with fucking a Michael Bay film. Now there is there is an idea. I wonder what, that'd be interesting. On the subject of video game movies, though, I know we've talked about this many times hypothetically. Any one that you would want to see made? Hmm. Any one that just comes to mind, I guess. Well, automatically, I would say Fallout. Mm-hmm. By George Miller. <laughs> yes. Um, if you want to play the fantasy director game as well. Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I would, because I would think I would focus less on the action parts of it. Yeah, I guess Fallout would be a lot more about more on decisions the politics. and weight. But the, the environment would just have to be spot The on, sequel though. that would feature a lot more Brotherhood of Steel, that one would be done by George Miller. Yeah, oh. Or like the I got it all planned out. I got like a fucking yeah. six, six picture deal for Fallout here. Yeah. The Brotherhood of Steel spin off movie will be George yeah. Miller. Yeah. Just be all rock 'em, sock 'em, Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> It'll be what they used to do when they would just go wipe mm-hmm. people out. Yep. Fallout being one of my favorite games ever, I would have to agree with you just because I would love to see it done, done well. I think if I was going to say like an older game, it would probably have to be uh, Zelda. The like Legend of Zelda, would, I think, would make a decent enough movie. People are in all that fantasy shit nowadays, so it'd be fine. I feel like nobody would care about the weird costumes they'd be wearing. It'd be hard to do it well, I would think, but with the right, yeah, you're right. I, I think if you it. did a live action one where you just like almost like Lord of the Rings, but you know what I mean with the uh, Legend of Zelda subject matter, I think mm-hmm. it would go down fine. Yeah, I'd agree. It could. It could. Zelda has some goofy ass shit in it, though. It really did. Well, I'm not saying fucking do like, you know, every game. I'm just saying like the, the first game, or what's that one that everybody likes? Is it the Ocarina of Time? Yes, yeah, Ocarina yeah. of Time is usually hailed as one of. Is that the that's the one with the little flute thingy, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. That, okay. That, that, that should not be. A, that shouldn't be a movie. <laughs> You're not going to have Link on there fucking blowing on a flute for the, for the like, entire You guys just want to hold on a second? <laughs> while, he played the, <laughs> while he played the Song of Storms? Oh, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> that would be, that'd be all right. <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven is another one I'd like to see. Fuck, that would be, that'd be a hard, uh, they did make kind of a Final Fantasy movie. I know, but it doesn't count. I'd like to see an actual one. Yeah, I... Advent Children, I I don't know, wasn't really for me. I'm not saying have the weird ass hair and shit like Cloud does, but I don't know, some sort of interpretation. Yeah, I think they could. I think you could really do a decent enough one. Yeah, could be the best steampunk movie ever made if it if it does if it would, you know, is done well. I think it'd be pretty cool. Yeah, because Final Fantasy VII is like one of the coolest steampunky kind of worlds I've ever seen. I remember that was one of the first games I actually ever played beginning to end on my PlayStation. And it's a massive game. <laughs> when, I, when I traded in my Super Nintendo and got a, bought a PlayStation, and then I got, got that Final Fantasy VII. Well, you definitely got your money's worth out of that game. It's long yeah. as fuck. I loved my Super Nintendo. So did I. It was a good console. A Yoshi's console. Island? Fuck yeah. I think it was my first console, definitely. What was the one? Bart's Nightmare? That was a good game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Some of these old mo- or old video games just wouldn't wouldn't make good movies, I get it, but hmm. Contra. Contra No wait. I think Contra I think a Contra is one. I think it's called Platoon. Or Rambo. <laughs> except except Platoon, you know, was before Contra I believe. But so. Yeah, probably. Either way. Either way. <laughs> <laughs> the game developers saw Platoon and was like, how can we take all the emotion out of this and put way more bullets into this? Wait, Con- wait which, which Contra is the one in the jungle? Is it the first Contra? Is it, like, I remember I there's so, a yeah. city, there's the jungle. First one's loosely based on, you know... Rambo? Yeah, Vietnam Commando kind of movie. A.K.A. Rambo. I've always thought a Half-Life movie would be cool. Because it's a super weird universe. E.T. I want to see that video game as a movie. <laughs> what, you mean to tell me it's an actual movie already? Wait uh, a second. How am I just finding out about this now? It's true. It's true. Well, uh, I, have, I always knew it for the game, right? The, the game came, definitely came first. Um. Oh, actually, you know what I would like to see as a movie? Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Yes. I fucking... Oh, man. 
that should be one of their they'll talk of it. Yeah. yeah, that should be one of their little spin-off movies on their their little new plan. Just do a Knights of the Old Republic story because that's such a cool universe, and they can yeah. make up anything. They can literally make up anything because it's. I think that'd be a good idea for them to do. Mm-hmm. Rogue One's gonna be cool, I think. But I hope it's cool. I hope it's like a dogfight, kind of, you know, World War Two dogfight movie in the Star Wars universe. If that makes sense, in any sense. So Star Fox. <laughs> sure, Star Fox with better dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> do a barrel roll. <laughs> Uh, all I can remember is the frog guy. Is that stupid fucking frog, yeah. I'm hit, I'm hit. And he's always the first one to get knocked out. <laughs> oh, fuck. As much as I did love the Star Fox 64, that series just took a plummet after that. that was the last Star Fox 64 one. was the best one. Yeah, that was. The, I was going to say that's the last good Star Fox game was Star Fox 64. I don't care what anybody says, the first Star Fox wasn't that good. Nope. Neither was the fucking GameCube version either. Nonsense. And I guess there's a new one coming out that just doesn't look very good either. I'm sorry, Nintendo. I don't mean to Actually, hate you, but you make I'd like so to easy. see that as an animated movie. Like that computer animation even, I'd watch that. Or even an animated series. I'd watch mm-hmm. Star Fox, that'd be a fucking awesome series. Yeah, I could see that as like a kid show almost. Like Clone yeah, Wars kind of like style. Clone Wars. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. yeah. That that would be a good idea, and that that's how I why I could see uh, Ratchet and Clank working if it's uh, got a decent writer behind it. Because I enjoyed those games; I thought they were witty. You know, I'd rather see Banjo Kazooie. I'll agree with that, but unfortunately, Rare has died and has taken Banjo Kazooie to the to their grave, <clears throat> to the point where the people that made Banjo Kazooie are literally making a ma- another game that's like almost named Banjo Kazooie but not <laughs> can't remember what it's called now but it's literally like two animals like same kind of thing Manfro Kajuzi <laughs> or Manfro Jacuzzi there we go some stupid shit like that yeah um hmm. oh yeah like there was it. a Far Cry movie I forgot about that UB Bull oh yeah I've seen that it's terrible UB Bull it's, is a fucking it's man. got that German dude that I don't know his name but he's an SLC punk he's the guy that's like oh but there's more he's like there's more Yes, much more. <laughs> Remember that guy? Oh, he's till, holding up till the Schweiger. Yeah, he's opening up the laser disc. He's like, "There's a movie on there." Yeah, he's the uh, generic, generic European badass. He's I remember getting a fucking laser disc player. Oh man, Far Cry! What a <laughs> Yui Bowl! What a disaster of a human being. That's, that was probably one of the better ones of his. I would have to say. Hmm. I do kind of, you know, respect guy who just continues to do what he wants. <laughs> He's just like, fuck everyone, I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, or I'll do what at, I want. At fuck some, you. At some point, you got to admire his, you know, his will to stick with it. <laughs> his lack of fucks to give? Yeah, exactly. But I wish he would stay away from video games. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Y'all, you got a critique? I got a critique, too. Go fuck yourself. Mm. Nice. Like, I don't know, Far Cry, I'm most shooting people in the jungle. <laughs> Blood rain, vamp, hot vampire chick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What, what else do we do? But, I mean, there's oh, lots he did of people the name that of the shit King that's worse too. than Mary Bowl, yeah. but still. Oh, don't yeah, forget for Ben sure. Kingsley is in Blood Rain. He is. He is. Jason Statham and fucking Name of the King. He's definitely had some. Which is funny because Jason Statham talks shit about Marvel actors. Huh? Oh, Jason Statham has been in some real stinkers himself. He has nothing to say there. No. Although I think he's gotten much better. He definitely has been in some real hum ho movies. Anybody that signs up for The Expendables admits that they had no career in the first place. Actually, Mm -hmm. that's not true. They admit that they only had a career in action movies and that they suck a lot of balls. This is an actor. Even though Sylvester Stallone's up for best uh, best supporting actor, is he not? This year, yeah. Yeah, uh, for Creed, I still haven't seen Creed. But I haven't cool. either, but I have to, right? Uh. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> that, wanted, uh. if he's nominated, right, something's up. <laughs> so, it's got to be something to go on. When they said they were doing that, like alternate spinoff story of. Okay, yeah, he's basically playing Mickey now. Yeah, exactly. To uh, to this new guy. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. sure. <laughs> Just uh, some Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, I want I don't Peter know why Jackson's he keeps the Halo. 
I if I were him, I would just call myself Michael Jordan. Everybody's going to see a movie that says Michael Jordan's in it. Mm-hmm. Thinking Throw the B in there, they're like, who the fuck's this kid? Thinking it's a fucking Space Jam part two. That's going to be LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James, yeah. He hey. signed some sort of picture deal with WB or some shit. Really? To do another yes. Space Jam? I, I'm assuming that's what it's for. I don't see what else it would be. Although he was hilarious in Trainwrecked. What the fuck? He was pretty <laughs> funny in Trainwrecked. What are your intentions? <laughs> that part's hilarious. <laughs> he's better than you think he would be whenever he's, yeah. he's on screen. I'll give him that. I will give him that. Yeah, because like, Tom Brady was horrible in Ted, too. But LeBron James was awesome in Trainwrecked. Yeah, see, it's hit and miss with the, the sports guy, I guess. Tom Brady was like, what? I'm Tom Brady? Don't forget right. OJ. OJ was awesome. I am Tom Brady. Oh, Nick yeah, Gun. Naked Naked Guns, one of my all-time favorite movies. I just, I don't know, that's one that I can watch no matter what, and it's still funny, you know? Those well, Naked Gun will always be funny. Those lines like, nice beaver, thanks, I just had it stuffed. <laughs> Hands him a beaver, like, that's just, mm. Gold. That's comedy gold. And it appeals to my childlike sense of humor. But, uh, hey. Ah. What can I say? Oh, a Halo. A good Halo movie would be fun, but that's never going to happen. They've I thought up. they were supposed to be working on one of them. They did, like, a short film and, like, a, a series. Like, a web series, but okay. they weren't very good. <laughs> Peter Jackson was supposed to do it back in the day, but... Hmm. It got canceled, and then he uh, moved. He gave all the money to a uh, District Nine guy to make District Nine. So hey, we got di- we got Neil Blomkamp out of it, so that's good. Yeah, that's not bad, except for you know Elysium and Chappie. Well, if you look at Elysium, what does the fucking space station look like? Ball sack. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a halo. <laughs> Identical to. Uh, Chap, yeah, Chappie. I don't know about Chappie. I like the robot. Strange like the God, it's a strange goddamn movie, isn't it? I just don't like that Die Antwerp. It's basically their music video. Mm-hmm. Well, they're the stars, and they play themselves. That which is have weird. Found a, That's so weird. That have found a, a police robot. That is weird. It's weird as hell. <laughs> I don't know how to even comprehend that. Really, Die Antwerp is obviously. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. They're one of the strangest groups in in music, right? So. <laughs> The fact yeah. you'd give them a starring role. I don't know. I am excited to see his take on the Alien series, though. Oh, he's doing an Aliens movie? I guess he is. I guess he's doing the next Alien movie, which I can only hope is a throwback to the first Alien. Do you Alien. mean, like, the next Prometheus? or No, the next oh. Alien movie. I oh, guess Ridley okay. Scott is actually doing Prometheus 2 or whatever, which is different than Alien. Which is different than Predator. <laughs> or is it? Uh, Prometheus isn't technically different than Alien. No, it's a prequel, prequel. I guess. Yeah, yeah, you could say. Definitely a prequel. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Uh, fuck, fuck if I know. <laughs> the first Prometheus, I I don't know. I was so, so fucking jazzed for that when it, when it was coming out. But at the end of the day, it's just too much stupid shit. <laughs> too much shit. Too much taking off your helmets on an alien planet. Scientists don't do that, I'm sorry. Scientists would never ever do that. Just Just suck. (laughs) I'm fucking immediately taking you. Yeah, I guess that covers video game movies. Like, fuck. That's too bad. (laughs) That is too goddamn bad. Yeah, and Pixels. May may it rest in hell. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the Dinklebot's performance, other than that, it was pretty brutal. He was just funny. He was some funny. of the shit he said. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why he's in things like that, but hey. Yeah, take what's uh, what's given to you, I guess. Mm. Would you rather fight zombies alongside a dragon using a crossbow, or fight zombies alongside four gorillas using an assault assault rifle? Well, obviously, four gorillas with an assault rifle. I gotta go with the dragon and the crossbow. Do the girls like? Can I control them? Like they're my buddies. It's like playing of the apes. They understand me. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Then I'm so taking gorillas. Okay. I fit in with them better. That's fair. Human mark. Yeah. Uh. I'm like, yes. Okay. 
I'll, mm. I'll do your bidding. Now, <laughs> the all I ask is seriously bring me like a shit ton of bananas because I'll make us all smoothies and you guys will love me. Mm -hmm. That's all I'll tell them. They'll, they've probably never had a smoothie. I'll be, see, this thing, this is a blender. Like, I'll show you how to use one. <laughs> I don't really know myself because I don't personally drink smoothies, but I'll make them for you guys because I hear they're a good thing. Hmm. They I'll basically delicious. just turn them into the human race and then watch as they destroy the earth. And then you can uh, play out some Planet of the Apes, Drought, and Heston situation. Fuck that. I'll be leading with them. I'll be against the humans. Yeah. You'll, you'll be the leader. You'll be Caesar. Mm. Human work. Human work. Fuck, man. That was one of the biggest surprises of last year was the Planet of the Apes. Mm, so good. Yeah, the can't. next one's going to be awesome. I can't wait for the next one. Ba, ba, ba. Spend a year with the Pope or spend a year with the Dalai Lama? Where do you guys get these questions, man? The Pope or the Dalai Lama? Yeah. Or Dalai Lama or whatever it is? I'm going to say the Pope. He's got some mad secrets. I'd like to hear what they are. Yes. I would like Wonder Woman's fucking truth whip on that motherfucker. Not to mention, if I get to hang out with the Pope, he's old as shit, so all I gotta do is hang out until he falls asleep, or presumably switch our drinks, because there's a very high chance he's gonna try and drug me and then molest me. So... That way he passes out, and then I can just kind of go creep around the Vatican myself and look for the different secrets of Scooby-Doo and the, the Mystery Gang style. Yeah, that's I think I think that's the best bet. Hmm. That's good. I like that. I would have to agree. <laughs> oh, Scooby-Doo. All righty then. Oh, the underachievers, man. What a, what a pile of nonsense. <laughs> I hope yeah. you guys dig the dig the podcast because it's uh, definitely one of the funnest to do. I suppose we shall wrap up, eh? Yeah, that's probably good for the day. All right. Uh, well, what's with my camera? Anyways, well, this has been you know about thirty-seven minutes of nonsense. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, this is the Underachievers Podcast. My name is the Habitual Pixel. It's my co-host, Big Nasty Productions. If you dig what we do, give us a sub. sub a subscribe words are hard you know um and we'll be back shortly with uh, movie reviews and maybe another one of these uh just random tomfooleries mm. i'll catch you next time words are hard that's why they hurt that's why they hurt words of wisdom words to live by